square space because there's that walkway that narrows here and there's only like five feet of the walkway here. Right. We only have another three, four feet and then it's the field. The footprint of the building itself is 20 feet by about 10 and a half feet. So that's one option, location, and the other one is somewhere here. So, so 20 by 10 is basically from where uh, you're sitting right now. To I think I it's probably the size of the Yeah. It's like the Ascot Hills ones, right? They have yeah, those. exactly like the Ascot Hills ones, because they're full. Yeah. This is exactly the one that I have at Ascot Hills. Mm -hmm. They have the, the locks on them, right? So yeah, the trilogy locks that come on automatically and turn on and off. Yeah. They are single use, so there's no spots in there. Does that have some type of lighting? Mm -hmm. Inside, it's yes. in, inside me? Yeah, yeah. And outside? Outside? No, it doesn't come. No, it doesn't have its own. It's the other side. I'm assuming that the parts are really well lit. Well lit. You, you mentioned uh, 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 it was on uh, on and off at certain times. Uh, does the little park actually say it? Uh, it's in the, uh, the doors will open at 6 o'clock in the morning or 8 o'clock yeah. and pull the sundown? Yeah, they're on timers. I'm sorry, how many cells would you say? Two. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. trash collection is right. Mm -hmm. um, or right next to it. Yeah, that's an option too, but this, again, my only concern there was the side. The, the yeah. Sewer. No, no, not the sewer. Oh, the phone. Yeah. The phone. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, I'm sorry. So, so it, it seems like you've been working on this for a while. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, what's the price difference between getting it at either one of those locations uh -huh. and getting it here? As far as price, I haven't done a comparison, but I know for sure that when I came out here with our, our central engineer and we looked at it, sewer connection from here, we would have to tap in and get a whole new line mm -hmm. from the street, meaning they have to trench from the center of the street all the way 300 feet. It was that I calculated it to, because initially our, the location, somebody had, I remember when we came, was to do it here, because I had three different aerial options. One was here, one was here, one was here. Over here, it was like 300 feet away from the center line of the sewer connection. So it was tapping in 300 feet, trenching for sewer connection. Over here, we don't have to. We already have it on site. We don't have to trench. Plus your to permits the and all that. So yeah. you what, if, what if you trench from here to here? So all just the, the field, it's just dirt. It's the same thing. You're still trenching the land, right? But you don't break the the street, though. Right, but you're still going through the field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, essentially, the, yeah. for uh, not that arrow, over on the right hand side here, yes, I probably would be more visible because um, I know you were mentioning the foul ball. Uh -huh. The way that diamond is um, filled out, anyways, or like the foul line, it doesn't go straight into that angle. It goes more, yeah, the, the right, right side. No, it this area, yeah. 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 I, this was where the batting cages and Right, because the batting cages could actually go more towards the middle of that side, on the eastern side. I, uh, yeah. yeah. Here? Yeah. You don't think right that's here. far for the people, though, to walk uh, and think, fun with my kids? Be, yeah, I think that would be far for a bathroom. My toddler, yeah. Because you have the, the well, over here. Same thing because people are walking from here all the way either to up here, or they're walking all the way across to the portal parties. So, Technically, it's actually closer right here because of the angle and the, the, the dimensions of the field or the whole... Yeah, because Demon 1 has a rec center. Yeah. Demon 1 has a rec center and the only ones that don't aren't close to the rec center are Demon 3 and Demon 2. For example, the parent, if I'm on Sunday when the rec center is not open and I have my daughter in the playground and she doesn't like using the porta potties, I'm going to make me walk across the field. 
but if the sun, on Sundays it's not open, so where would you go? No, the playground. Yeah. I'm, if I'm oh. enjoying the playground with my kids. Yeah. Or just the field with the kids. Yeah. On that side. Well, what we're going to do is try and figure out, like, you know, thinking. Did we announce the 350 last time? Well, for the most part, I mean, the majority of the people are here during the week, not on weekends. Mm -hmm. the best, the most used. So it would be the best use of time of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, I, I think we're forgetting something very important here. If we were to actually put it, uh, this restroom in the corner, so it, uh, right there, the, the way uh, it was mentioned earlier, I think we're, we're actually not considering the people who are handicapped. We, we would have, definitely have to put this somewhere where people who are handicapped would definitely Right, and one, the thing is, yeah, you have to have access to it. Yeah. You have to have a concrete and, path to it. Yeah. And, and one of the main reasons this was actually brought up by the community was due to the fact that people had to go up to the stairs and all that. And that was a huge issue for them, especially mom and stuff like that. So we would have to keep it somewhere where there's already some cement, that, that, that's a walkway, you know, and, and, and obviously, just my opinion, would be uh, maybe where that red dot is. That, right. And that's my opinion. You, you know, and I'm considering mothers who, who have strollers, you know, I, I know my wife would have, when, when our kids were younger, she would have had a hard time. You know, even crossing the, the grass with, with a stroller, it, that, that's hard. Imagine a person in a wheelchair or, or on a walker, you know what I mean? Right. That's my opinion, yeah. that's my opinion, but you know. Turf is not considered ADA accessible yeah. pathway, so the restroom buildings are, designed and built to accommodate people on wheelchairs, so you have to have access to the entrance of the building. We can't put it here and not have access. If we put it here, we have to do a, a pathway to it. And you also have to like think about, like, you know, I wish we had all the funding in the world. We'll try, we're keeping trying to find more, but, you know, the, the more out of the way you put, or the more sort of labor and cost has to go in the, in the restroom, it decreases your ability to fund other things. So it's sort of a... You weigh, you weigh things, yeah. yeah. Excuse me, like this funding, um, the restroom for the funding, where, where is this funding coming from? I can't hear you. The right? funding for the restrooms, where is it coming from? The funding for the project is coming from something called CDBG, or Community Development Block Grant. It was something our office applied for to get funding for the rec center uh, because it needs it. <laughs> and we really want, we were scrambling trying to figure every single every single dollar we could. So that that's where the money is coming from. Is, is that the $350,000? Yes, ma'am. But we're always looking for more. So if you know of anybody who can write checks. <laughs> Are you going to leave these boards here for us? Take a picture. Take a picture of your cell phone. We have to check to see if we can. They're worth a lot of money. So. No, I know that. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I was going to say, I know that. I think sure. Do we not have the batting cages on the... In, Area because batting cages are pretty long, they're about like 70 feet long, right? And well, that's what we're discussing that maybe if we shorten them, we could get actually more access to have you know, more cages. Right? That's it's a really matter of fact, the only concern with this area yeah, was we have to stay away from drip lines of trees. Yeah, we can't go that we can't build down, mm -hmm. but well, not right in that corner, maybe a, maybe little, a little further, further up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just uh -huh. because that's the only shady area, and sometimes when. People have reunions, that's where yeah. they go to be on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so along, along, along the fence line, line, it'll be good. Along the fence, in the new fence, along the fence line. No, no, we move it up. It's, yeah, we're yeah. 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 like, oh, like, 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 right here. Yeah. 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 So, like, yeah. if you well, put it on a blanket, it's usually where it's at. Along this way, too, though. I mean, along the fence. Two rows. Yeah, along the fence, yes. I mean, I mean, the the best is out of the way. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I had a, actually was more concerned about tucking them away in this corner because of all the trees. But since they're saying they like that space to gather in, you know, just that. Yeah, just that's night. Nice. You pass by there. Mm -hmm. I mean, my thought process was instead of having, because I think at least two batting cages would be ideal for this park. It's at least softball and baseball park. So instead of having two side by side, you'd have them this way. Long, long yeah, yeah. Long that it's long enough. So technically, you can have four. Mm -hmm. Based on the dimension we just said, you can have four cages. But the cost will increase. No, it's the same cost. Two by two? Uh, increase. No, because you're just 
you're making them smaller as far as the pitching. You have to get the pitching machines to. No, we don't want pitching machines. You don't want pitching machines? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, we want that, that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like you guys have that? No, no. We, don't do that. <laughs> we, 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 always... we also want a co maintenance contract. All the don't say no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to train her. And, you know, <laughs> That's her iron cell. All the training. Yeah, she's going to be out there training. <laughs> so, so the cages include pitching machines, netting, everything? Yes. Yeah. I would, I would hope it includes netting or else it would be complete Let me ask you a question. We can always get the pitching machines and move them and go uh, store them away, right? The machines, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, 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 they're not. They're, they're, they're not. They're, 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 not they're, 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 they're not. I'm not sure about that. I've never really inspected pitching machines. We can find out for you. For the most part, they are. Because they still pop the wire top of homing. Yeah, like no, they are. I'm yeah. sure they have them. I don't know how Rekham Parks does them. I don't know if we want them to be, you know, that yeah. way. Yeah. Just, just sitting there and someone can go and move them, then that's another issue. So I don't know. We'll look to see, like, what type of, like, what they're made out of and the type of thing that people steal. Because people steal everything. Literally everything. So we'll figure out. Because the last thing we want is someone to steal brand new. Well, like for me, I mean, I coach, so I would prefer to actually manually pitch than, than use a machine. Because for me, my opinion is... You're a better that, pitcher than a machine? Yeah, <laughs> that, and I'm better looking, but besides yeah. that, uh, no, I just think that the kids, when they see the arm movement, it, it, it trains them better, as opposed to just seeing the ball pop out of a, a wheel, so... I mean, it's <clears throat> it's the PAB's decision for what you guys yeah. want to go for as a group. We have two machines, uh, two, two machines and two health machines. Yeah, I mean, it really comes down to what... Yeah, all we can discuss about the machines yeah. and all that down there. That's more of a refined... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. yeah. And then... Oh, okay. I'm just excited about that. Next. Excited? Then, then, then like, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's so pretty. This is if it rains. <laughs> it has <laughs> it. Yeah, so this area is where the existing building is. The existing building footprint goes from this... Line here, all the way to somewhere about her, around here. Mm -hmm. just kind of visual. So this, all this stuff is going to be where the building is. Everything from here on. This is your front area here. Yeah. That's the playground. So starting from up here, this playground will obviously stay. Uh, there's walkway, pathway all around it, so that's good. We have access around there. Um, there's going to be a fitness equipment zone right here at right the playground, mm -hmm. so there's good visibility access for parents. You know watch the kids and, and, and exercise. There's going to be some picnic tables. The fitness equipment will go on the existing concrete pad. We won't take that concrete out. I don't think we you know, have that stay there. We would have to provide an ADA ramp that gives access to people from this uh, uh, level to up here, because there's a couple steps that go up there. Mm -hmm. So this would turn into an ADA ramp. And there would be a jogging path, walkway, you know, either out of decomposed granite material or some kind of rubberized surfacing, or, you know. And then we would have a little picnic area and a picnic table area in the middle with two ADA accessible tables, two regular tables, uh, drinking fountains, some benches. We redo the landscaping around these edges. Uh, have the path continue on here. Some more benches in the front here. It's already fenced here, so we can, you know, kind of enclose that area. And then you have your half court, half basketball court in there. And lights, too, right? Like lights. Secure, yes. Provide new LED security lighting for this, just this area. Yeah. yeah. And all of this is so far with the 350. Yeah, all of this together, we've, I, we've identified funding to do this whole this stuff. Yeah, this pretty much is good. How much money is left after this? Is, uh, that's a great question. <laughs> I mean, Drew, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of the estimates right now, because we don't have specific measurements, all that type of stuff, you usually go in very like broad estimates, and then as you narrow down, you know, narrow down the scope of the project. You know, obviously, if you have extra money, we're gonna use it. <laughs> like, um, but what we need to do is figure out if this is the type of scope that you guys want, or something different, whatever, how to refine it, and then you know, maybe once we know better numbers. I have a question for you. Um, we're we're going to be sitting down, uh, you know, in a few weeks to discuss 
This is a matter of fact, if you uh, work on the on, on the rough draft and, and, and the final that we're gonna you know, mm -hmm. uh, present to you guys after we, we introduce this to the community. Um, is there any possible way we could keep this stuff? We you know what we'll try and figure out if we can borrow them just yeah. during that meeting. Yeah. When is your when is the meeting? Uh technically July I mean uh June twenty third. June twenty third and it's with the I missed the no, first that's hour a, that's of the meeting. A meeting. Oh. That's what we're gonna I'm go sorry. Over. August yeah, yeah, August fourteenth, sorry, August fourteenth. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely have more refined stuff by then. That's like two months from now. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plenty of time to refine stuff. I'm not gonna leave them here today, but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, this design, uh, you said it was based on feedback. What feedback was it based on? From the from surveys. No, from just us shouting out the things that we've heard the community saying. But some of it was also from the um, opening day, right? Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of okay. it, because you guys handled yeah. about, they handled about the, mm -hmm. the opening day. Okay, that's what I was going to So, about. yeah, so half of it was community during opening day, and the other half was to us. Fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It was, and it was trying to think about things like, if you look at the rec center, right, one of the things that, sorry, since this is the center, like, right. what are the elements that it lacks, right, that people really things. have a high yeah. demand for? There was a lot of questions like, we need picnic tables, because... People after games, they want to go eat with their kids, whatever. Um, you know, a lot of issues with, I think, access to basketball courts. I know there's been an issue with um, not enough space, so we couldn't get a full court in. Maybe a you know, half court at least is one more net. Um, I think there was a question someone wanted, people wanted to be able to watch their kids when they're on the playground. So, fitness equipment, we see actually in a lot of other places, you see a lot of seniors utilizing the fitness equipment. They're ADA accessible. Yes, we're going to have. There's some pictures of them here. These are the accessible series. These are the regular series. Okay. Those are examples. At the last town um, staff meeting, it was, it was mentioned about the the clubhouse being demolished and a base in the long run to have another building and that this, this is going to be put in the meantime temporary. Is that the case or is this going to be permanent? Well, if you look at these things, I mean, if we identify $20 million, <laughs> believe me, it's something that... These things are not things that are like incredibly permanent, right? The restroom, different, right? But these things like that, you can move benches, you can move that type of stuff. I, I Does that answer your question? I guess more my concern is, um, because we do need an indoor, another indoor building for our classes, you know, the classes, uh, you know, art classes, dance classes, music classes that we, our community is, is um, mm -hmm. not receiving because there's no space here in this park. So, what guarantee are we getting from your office that there is going to be a community building? Well, first of all, what we have to do is, you're absolutely right, long-term potential, absolutely, there's something that could be done there. Um, what we need first need to do is identify that type of funding, which I think, one of the meetings, I think it was maybe February, we talked about Proposition mm -hmm. K and asked yes. about that. And that's something absolutely our office will apply for. If there's, some, if there's a, a Prop K, mm -hmm. you know, project that the PAB or whoever, you know, wants to do, that's... Obviously, we'll you know we'll do that. The thing is, those things take time. You know, those applications, you know, they're well, on a the funding cycle. A <laughs> yeah, um, but believe me, we're committed yeah. to finding so, as much money. For this when you're asking about looking for money, I mean, I've always been asking and I haven't gotten an answer. How much money do we need for a community for that type building? Of facility? For community building. Are you talking about rehabbing or building a new one? Both. We, which are both. I've asked for both. Rehabbing is a lot more expensive mm -hmm. because of the issues with. When it was constructed, they used different building codes, right? So when you look at it, you have to make sure that it's structurally standard for 2014, right? Yes. So those costs can increase. I know there's another location where we're looking at where it was, Drew, correct me if I'm wrong on numbers, it was like, we're looking at like seven or eight million at least. Mm -hmm. um, new buildings okay. can be cheaper. And it, yeah, if we were to do something new, what would it cost? I mean, it really, like, I don't want to give you an exact number because I don't know square footage and yeah. usage, depends on lights, but, you know, it can be anywhere from, like, one million to six or eight million. But the reality is, right now, is, like, do we look at, you know, we have this, we have this facility, right, we have, this is the center of El Serino, right, uh, you know, people come here all the time, there's, you know, hundreds of kids, hundreds of families, how do we best maximize the use of the space? Because this money, like, 
I mean, it was very, very competitive across the city, and the council member fought very hard. Um, we submitted a grant, we did a bunch of research to try and figure out how we can get money. Because unlike other areas, because a lot of park money can be based upon development, there's not a lot of developments going on in El Sereno, so we had to try and figure out other sources of funding mm -hmm. to really do that. So um, I think in terms of a, a, sh a shorter term, I don't mean short term as like six months, you know, but like shorter term projects, you know, this is something you can relocate your picnic table, you can yeah. relocate the fitness program. Okay. And when I say you mentioned change can be um, fees and since you're here, can you help us with um, the Queen Bee fees and the USC housing to get some to this park since we are within the two mile radius? I can check on that. I don't know. I have to look because at the Queen Bee laws. I'm, I'm, I'm not just making that request because Hazard Park already got a lot of money from USC and they're getting a lot of improvements done. Lincoln Park also got money, you know, and so, you know, we definitely need it. So. I mean, I think you would have, you have our 100% commitment that we are committed to making this park and this facility Grade A, Class A. That way we can get more, cage, you know, batting cages, a better skate yeah. park. So El Cerrito should not be treated any less than like the Little Hills and Terminal, right? But a lot of these things, it's a process and it takes time and mm -hmm. it takes the community involvement. And you know, a lot of times it's like, you know, you want that, you want that golden egg, right? And sometimes you can't get there in one step, and you got to sort of take those steps in that right direction. But you take those first steps and you build momentum, right? You start to see improvements, and people start to see the parents who come to the park with their kids are like, "Oh my gosh, we got a restroom now!" <laughs> you know, we don't have to worry about getting up there. Or we got picnic tables, we got a batting cage. You start to build that momentum, right, and that passion, and that people start to really see it. And that's when you really start to see things going. I mean, I, I, I like to say this, this you know, but the truth, you know. But I, I know that some parks have a mission to acquire public public land or land for the park. And one thing that we've always looked at and asked like, for years now is the land over here that's not being utilized is the potential that the skate park can go over here or more courts can go over here. So I'm just asking long term, I know it's not going to be done tomorrow or next year yeah. or the next maybe five years, but maybe ten years in the long run, we should get this land and, and use it for soccer field, maybe for, for Phoenix over here, for soccer people, or for a skate park <laughs> over here. Because you know, it's already over here. It's over here, it's, over here. It's, already, it's full. I know, I've seen it, yeah. I've sat by here every day. Over here could be a skate park, you know, we have the, you know, the, the, the land there, this will be back to the ports again, back to the ports all over again, as it was before. I mean, the potential is there, I'm just saying. Yeah, you're absolutely right, we need to think bigger, you know Yeah, I mean? we, absolutely, I mean, like, I mean, now that I can finally say I'm an Al Serena resident, right? The, uh, <laughs> the, um... Are you here now for what I'm sorry. No, I, I live in El Serena now, but the, um... Oh, okay. You see... You know, there's a lot of communities in LA, right? And I think you see it, people, and I'm talking more of a philosophical thing, is people drive through El Cerrito. Like, you see other people, and if they drive through it, they pass it by, right? You have Huntington Drive, people don't pay attention to it. And a lot of times, it really takes the community initiative and effort to really get people to say, wait, stop driving through us. Stop driving by us, right? So that's why you need to get this energy and this movement going. And that's when you really start to see things big happen. So absolutely, there's no, just because you might, you know, we get these improvements in the next year or whatever it is, right? That doesn't mean you stop. No. There's, there's a huge vision. I'm just sharing with you because, I mean, you're here. <laughs> yes, so let us know when we could start with the pop cake. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, well, definitely, what, where, we put the, off of the energy, whatever it takes to get that funding for this part, you know, that's what it takes to sit down and do that publication, whatever it takes. I want to come here, bring my kids here more than what I do, because I end up going to Lincoln Park and Alhambra and... Yeah, you gotta stay committed to El Cerrito, man. That's what all about. Well, well, we don't have the things that we need here. Like, you know? They, 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 that's they, why we're they, here. They, 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 are, they do art and they, they, they can, you know, wear. And we're very lucky that Rec and Parks and Drew and everybody has put in a lot of time, <coughs> extra time to really start to think about it, to, to basically make your guys' vision Yeah, you're right. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate it. I'm not saying it. Thank you. She's the one who drew it. I'm not saying that. 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 He's practicing his pitching. <laughs> He's a lefty, he's not a right. So is there any questions about this or any um, sort of thoughts about placement, that type of stuff? Time. Well, that's great input. Time. Time. So pretty much it's a matter of us actually sitting down, sharing it with everybody, and find out what would be, yeah, see what would be best ideal for, for the locations. Yeah, I, I want to thank the PAD board and, um, for having these meetings, first of all, and, and also for you know having that input. And I wish I, I hope to see more people come in and 
be able to take the video in August, have some more input on this. Because mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think this should be just already stamped and sealed because our yes, ideas no. are just our ideas. No, this is saying. just pretty much We're just like a rough draft of the so rough yeah. draft. Okay, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just saying that it's good to see this, but it's a, it's a, it's a big first step. Yes, Great. very, very first initial conceptual, yeah. But thank very, you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's actually awesome based that we've actually did a path for only six months to be this far. You know, I mean, I'm not saying just because of us. I'm just saying, you know, the, the, the public, the community is getting more involved, you know, and like he said, little things is what's going to create the momentum to bigger things. You know, with the fence, with the last year getting the, the fence the right here between the top and the bottom. You know, so little things is what's going to actually create the momentum. So once the community sees little improvements, then they see hope. That's right. And that's what really matters. So we're at, yeah. Has the <laughs> been put the impressions up here? Up here? Since it's already ADA accessible? So put them at the upper level? Right here, yes. Yeah, but then that would... Parts of the, the field, right? So they have the yeah. restrooms yeah. here. Yeah. But, um, did you say on Sundays the restrooms are closed or something on Saturdays? I think it was a question about like access from the field, right? Mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. Right. That's what's the main here. thing is yeah. on the field since yeah. they're being occupied more often during mm -hmm. the week. Yeah, but I think if it's less there, it's it's a central location. Um, you know, even if I'm here on Sunday with the kids, at least they're if it stays there, you know, it's it's central. I don't, we don't have to go too far. It would be nice if you get a restroom in that area too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Great. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, we need some of that. Yeah, no, but, but, uh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, this right here just open up our minds. Yeah. Maybe uh, 14. Since you're here, we also need restaurants at that oil playground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're working on that right now. We're doing, it's, it's a lot of, you know, it's, you just gotta really look for the dollars when you figure it. In the early, what is it, the squeaky wheel gets the oil and the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> That's why you guys have more of your part. There's a lot of other communities that are really jealous about us right now, trust me. Thank you so much, Drew. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we got dinner for our uh, being eight. <laughs> Anything else? Wait, wait, no, no. Uh, two. Can you have a muffin in case? Oh. Anything else you guys got to talk about? Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Yes. Let me just... Thank you guys very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Keep up the good fight, guys. We've been here uh, long enough. Uh, motion to adjourn. A second. Yes. Second, third, fourth. We'll make a motion. Time to You can't do three weeks. 838. 838. So the next August 14th, are we, are we adjourned? Uh, okay. Uh,